lot of us are not accomplishing the things we want to accomplish in our lives because unbeknownst to us, we are surrounded by monitoring spirits, okay? And I wanted to give you guys the five ways to know that a friend, an acquaintance, a family member, someone in your life is a monitoring spirit and not a true friend. They're just there to kind of figure out what you're doing in your life. Let's do it. Hi, my name is Nike. Na Nike. <laughs> well, I want to start off by saying that for me, I have blocked over 2,000 fake accounts on my Instagram in the past three months because I don't care about the following. I just don't want anyone who's not a true supporter or a true kind person who has my best interest at heart watching me. So anytime I see a fake account like that with no picture on it, I just block it. And I always know it's someone that I know in real life. And I always usually know exactly who it is too because they're so daft. They use the exact words that they use in lingos with me on a daily. But they won't watch my account from their real account. They will watch from a fake account. Or someone that I don't talk to anymore who's just dedicated their whole life to watching everything I do. It's terrifying. It's scary. But here are five ways to know. Number one, a monitoring spirit would only call you when you announce something bad is happening in your life. Meaning, they cannot measure accomplishments or success in their own personal life unless something bad is happening in your life. That's how they measure accomplishments. And so, you will notice that if, let's say you announce something bad, like you got in a car accident on your social media, they're calling you. They want to know all the details, every single thing that happened, okay? But when you are celebrating something great, something amazing, they're nowhere to be found. To every time you speak to them, you get a vulnerability hangover. I've had the same best friends for 20 years. I've had the same childhood friends. And every time I talk to my girlfriends, especially my best friend, I have never expressed anything to her, get off the phone and go, Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Never. Not one time. I've never experienced that feeling. But almost every single friend I made in LA, almost every single friend, actually, I would say pretty much all of them, after getting off the phone or after hanging out, I will feel so tired because I will go, Nikkei, okay, you share too much. You shouldn't have shared that. And that, to me, is a surefire way of knowing that I'm dealing with the monitoring spirit because something in my soul, or maybe it's God, is telling me, stop enough stop sharing this person does not have your best interest at heart you're going to feel tired exhausted after sharing news with them next you and a monitoring spirit will be in a competition all the time even if you don't want it even if you don't want to compete with them like you like i'm not a competitive person when it comes to my friend something about them will trigger that and they will throw jabs at you all the time. You pick up on the jabs, right? Like this like little backhanded compliments. But the surefire test that I do with every monitoring spirit, and they all fail, that's how you know, is to call them out of the blue. If I wanna know someone's a monitoring spirit, I just call them out of the blue. And I go, oh my God, I met this girl, this guy, and they said something about me and it was such a bad thing. And I would just I'm like, oh my God, they called me fat or they called me lazy or they called me something. I would say like a negative thing about myself. It's just a story. And I will pause. And in that moment, a true friend will go defensive. No, what? You, Nikkei, like, like, or possible. You're not lazy. You're not fat. A monitoring spirit will snicker every single time. <laughs> like that. And that test works every single time because... They're excited that someone else can say something negative about you that they can't say to your face. And so they like relish in the moment. That's a surefire way to know. Next, if you ever call them for advice, call a monitoring spirit for advice, if it's between two answers, a positive one or a negative one, they will always give you the negative advice. So let's say you say, oh my God, like my husband and I are having a hard time. I'm thinking about going to therapy or counseling to figure it out they're going to give you advice for you to get a divorce okay they don't want the best for you because well they need you to fail a monitoring spirit is the spirit of a jezebel they don't they can never find success within themselves it all their success will always depend on how much you fail that's it and last but not least if you walk away from the conversation and you feel like you were just in an interview. 
like you were just on MSNBC <laughs> getting interviewed, you're dealing with the monitoring spirit because they would ask all the questions and they would never provide any information about themselves. Now, the bad thing about monitoring spirits is that they never go away. So they only like if you if they're a friend or a family member or whatever and you cut them off, they will continue to stalk you. They will create a hundred fake accounts to stalk you. They will never leave you alone. They will never ever leave you alone. Like their only purpose in life is stalking you. So the only thing to do is to live a private life. You have to starve them of information, especially the good news. You have to keep them to yourself.